activities of the Lagos State Government and other state events. I am Adeola Akindili. We'll begin today with this story in line with efforts to bolster infrastructure, free new fire stations, and airing completion in Ijegunagra, Satellite Town, and Ijede with land spaces identified for the development of additional ones in Ibejuleki, Ifa, Koijayo, local government areas of Lagos State. Commissioner for Special Duties and Intergovernmental Relations, Bengal Yerindi, stated this while rendering accounts of the ministry in the last one year under security and good governance. He noted that an ultra-modern workshop at the Alausa headquarters is almost completed to cater for the agency's fleet maintenance needs. In the year under review, O'Hearing they said the Lagos State Fire and Rescue Service recorded a total of 2,537 incidents, including 1,627 fire calls, 191 rescue calls, 93 salvage calls, and four explosions, alongside 607 false alarms, with 82 casualties recorded, and property worth over 25 million naira destroyed where property worth over 150 billion naira was salvaged. Also, the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, LASEMA, recorded a total of 6,887 emergency incidents from 2019 to date, with over 100 buildings destroyed, when the Limosha local government area has the highest incidents with 319 cases followed by Kedja with 233 cases and Koshofe King third with 180 cases. According to the Commissioner, the Lagos State Safety Commission carried out advocacy and sensitization services, trainings on first aid among stakeholders, which include the grassroots students, trainers, and feedback received to help the Commission formulate policies aimed at ensuring well being of residents. This is the situation that we are not comfortable with. I will show, as a government, we show the total dispersion to that kind of a situation. But we know this, we know this as a mainstream. We know the world now is running on innovation and technology. And that's where we feel our strength will rise. The ministry in the year under review generated over 3 million naira from issuance of indigenous certificates. Still on the ministerial press briefing, about 100 ministries, departments and agencies of government have been, bo have been onboarded on the Lagos State Citizens Kit app. 2.0 and over 233,395 citizens have visited the platform. Special advisor to the governor and political, legislative and civic engagement at Falabi Tajudin noted that the mobile app is for better grassroots participation to strengthen governance through electronic process and digital effective communication to promote transparency and citizens' participation, making it a key pillar of successful open government reforms. Tajuddin also said that under the Sonwulu Leasing's Financial Assistance Initiative, a total of 1,681 vulnerable residents have so far benefited from the sum of 1 billion naira assistance. I want to reiterate that this government is committed to pushing the effect of the first social removal, especially in Lagos and every negotiation. The government will not relent in its effort to continue to bring relief to the strength and vulnerable citizenry. The 
for special advice and note at parts the office intensifying its quarterly community sensitization programs to enlighten communities and government policies and initiatives while it also distributed 2,000 palliative food boxes to 2,000 beneficiaries. Another set of 1,074 vulnerable residents will benefit from the Sunwood Lessons Initiative while the school feeding program in public primary and secondary schools in the state will take effect soon. Also, during the week, the Babajide Sunwood Administration is not leaving any stern intent to make Lagos a premier destination for innovation and technology and cyber security hub in sub Saharan Africa. Speaking during the Ministerial Press Briefing, Commissioner for Innovation, Science and Technology, Tuposo Laki, stated that the state has a high compliance with global standards under the Nigeria Data Protection Act to make the state digitally secure. Alaki said, with the Lagos Innovation Bill in view, the state aims to be a disputed innovation leader, hence its introduction. The commissioner hinted that over 6 million Lagos residents have been captured so far under the Lagos State Identity Card Project, LAG ID, by the Lagos State Residents Registration Agency, LASRO, out of which over 3 million are adults and over 2 million children. Alaka said the first one of the Metro Fiber Project, which is about 2,700 kilometers of unified fiber ducts, had been completely laid and urged residents to protect the facility from vendors who cut the fiber for selfish purposes. On monitoring of the fiber ducts, I do agree. Uh, we need to step up our monitoring, how to collaborate with the private sector, areas where um, we can also combine the people in those area residents association to keep that infrastructure. That's something, of course, that is very well uh, noted. Of all of the incomplete dump areas, and I can assure you there's going to be remediation across the entire sector. The Lagos State Government says it has achieved a tremendous leap in poverty reduction and women empowerment in the state in the last one year. Commissioner for Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Cecilia Diva, who reeled out the activities of the ministry in Lausa, stated that a total number of 500 women who were trained in digital marketing received Android tablets to enhance their micro businesses. According to the commissioner, the ministry also distributed 4,000 food packs as palliatives to the vulnerable women, widows, and survivors of domestic violence to cushion the effect of field subsidy removal. On more achievements, the dust said 17,200 women from, from the 20 local governments and 37 local council development areas of the state received free medical screening or free sanitary parts and other sanitary materials were given to 6,000 women and girls to reduce period poverty during World Hygiene Day. And the Lagos State District of Women and Girls has taken that in a step further. We have respondents in the 57 local governments and local council development areas. They have been trained on what to do. So if you think ministry is too far, just call 767. There's somebody there to respond to you. And help will come to you. Dada, who said 70 men and 592 women reported domestic and gender based violence against them, urged victims to always speak up to avoid falling into depression. Away from that story, Lagos State Government has secured over 300 judgments in its favor from various courts across the state just as it approved 100 plea bargains in the last one year. 
the State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Manuel Pedro, who made this known during the ministerial press briefing at Talausa, Ikeja noted that Office of the Public Defender secured 230 judgments in favor of the state. The Directorate of Public Prosecution obtained 40 judgments, while the Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency secured over 50 judgments. According to him, in a period under review, the Directorate of Citizens' Rights received 755 petitions on family matters, 131 on employee-employer matters, 744 tenancy matters, out of which 539 are family issues. Pedro stated that the phase one of the rehabilitation of Iboshiri High Court consisting of 24 countries is 85% near completion. Also, shared residents facing land grabbing issues to report activities of land grabbers to appropriate government agencies for action. And the office of land grabber, the task force there, has taken steps to ensure the rule of law brings. But because you have friends in high water now moving, and give the total wrong information, any land grabbing issue in member states, in any police formation, they should be found to the office of the attorney general to determine what to do. So that different police formation is not used against one another. Finally, on the program today, remains of late Deputy Chief of Staff to the Lagos State Governor, Mr. Gwiga Shonyongu, has been committed to murder health at Ikoyi Cemetery. Late Shonyongu was appointed by Governor Babajide Sowolu in 2019 as Deputy Chief of Staff to his demise on May 15 after a brief illness at age 55. While speaking at the funeral service held at the redeemed Christian Church of God, City of David Parish, Victoria Island, Pastor Dakwa Kyoshu, who read from Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29, and Romans 2, verse 14, prayed for the repose of his soul and urged those who are still alive to use their position to better the lives of the less privileged in the society by being selfless in service as exemplified by Jesus Christ. And in his remarks, Governor Babajide Sonwudu described the late Adiboyga Shonyongu as the engine of his administration whose death has created a large vacuum. He implored the family of the deceased to take service in God, but he lived a good life and touched many lives positively while on earth. Being a legacy of selflessness and of profound commitment to the greater good, what I think we got has left behind. And his legacy will continue to inspire us, to continue to guide us and remind us of the power of life of dedicated service to humanity. And then for the challenge, now belongs to you and I, who we got has left behind. The ball is now in our courts to make our time here on earth. Widow of the deceased, Mrs. Yawande Shunungu, eulogized her late husband and appealed to anyone he might have offended while on earth to forgive him for death is inevitable. The Bible says the Lord's situation is endless, and a lot of that situation includes the loss, the loss of the world. I'm not wasn't under any pressure to acquire or to accumulate wealth because it would tell you God has the word in his hands. Prayers were offered for the entire Shunungu family by the chairman of Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, Reverend Stephen Adibite, when alumni members of King's College rendered the school anthem in honor of the deceased. <laughs> With that story, we conclude this week's edition of Lagos Update, a program that highlights the activities of the Lagos State Garden and other state events. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X, Traffic Radio, 961. Instagram, 
Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch amazing programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website at Traffic Radio 961.ng. Thanks to my producer, my partner Kimi, studio engineer Uri Sholawia, with support from the social media team. The executive producer is Tayo Akwe. I'm Adiola Akinele. Next week is an update. Stay blessed and stay safe.